Hello my people, this is Dr. Joe again and today I am going to share everything that I've learned about how to get into grad school with that higher national diploma that um, probably your country do not really um, you know, appreciate that much. I know in Nigeria there is this debate about HND BSc but it turns out that most universities here, they don't care, they don't mind. So, um, but there are certain things that you need to know or do <clears throat> so that you can be competitive for positions um, with this uh, particular degree, your HND. And also, I'm going to give you the list of universities that, you know, people in my group applied to. And um, I'm going to share where they were successful, you know, at gaining admission and funding in some cases. <clears throat> and, um, you know, apart from what I will talk about in this video, every other thing, uh, I'm just going to talk about the unique things that you need to do. But every other thing apart from what I'm going to talk about in this video will be the same as, you know, just every other person. OK, and that may require that you enroll in my course beating competition for graduate admission and funding in the united states uh, so that you can learn these other things that um, i talked about so without wasting time let's get into the video and before we continue if you have not subscribed um please do i noticed that over 70 percent of people that are watching my content are not subscribing why why is that um, please so hit the subscribe button and um, don't forget to like the video so that YouTube can show this to other people as well. Okay. Now, so the first thing you need to do is, of course, you need to have a good GPA, you know, just like every other person that, that is applying. I'm not saying it's impossible without a good GPA, but, you know, life is easier if you have a good GPA. Now, uh, what's a good GPA? I would say if you, I'm talking about HNDs right now. So if you finish with um, a distinction, that's great. But even if it's um, upper credit, um, uh, that's still useful as well. So I've had people in my group who finished with um, these uh, GPAs and um, they were successful. So I would say at least an upper credit. Now, if you had if you have a lower credit, it may still be possible. And I would encourage you to especially watch my video on, you know, how to get these positions with a low GPA. We actually brought, you know, someone who had this experience and what they did to be competitive for this position. So that would apply to you as well if you have a low GPA. So have a good GPA. So if you have that, then life life becomes a little easier for you now the second thing that i would suggest that you do and everything i'm talking about here are things that you know people in my group have done and things they have been successful at okay um so for hnds i think it's absolutely important that you do a west evaluation Okay, if you don't know what that is, please Google it. Um, uh, there are sites that specialize in this, but a common one is WES, I think World Educational Services. I hope I'm right with that uh, description. But um, a West evaluation helps you to convert your degree from whatever it is in your country, whatever name that they call it in your country, helps you convert that to a United States standard, you know, the 4.0 GPA standard in the United States. So I think it's absolutely important that you do this, you invest in this, so that the people here can understand, the people you are applying to in the US can understand how your degree stacks up with an equivalent degree here in the United States, okay? Uh, that's very important for this group of people. For people that had a bachelor's or have a bachelor's, sometimes they don't need to do this. But it's always a good idea if you invest in 
a worse evaluation. Everyone in my group with a with um an HND did a worse evaluation. Okay. You should try to ask the program, ask them if you know they can take this degree. So if you have your worst evaluation, before you waste money applying, please ask them. You know, just send a result of the, your worst evaluation and um, you know just just a small question to the graduate coordinator. So each program usually has a graduate coordinator. Send your results to them and say, hey, will this you know I'm I'm very enthusiastic about you know getting a degree um, through your program. Will this make me competitive for your program? You know, in, in your estimation. So they will probably reply you if if they don't take the HND at that point, they will likely tell you that, hey, we only take bachelors or we only take this. So if they reply you and say, hey, we encourage you to apply, then that means um, it could be a good choice for you. So even if you are not going to apply to any of the universities I'm going to tell, uh, I'm going to mention today, whatever universities you, you find yourself attracted to, you can do this. Now, apart from these two things, if you've done a waste evaluation and if you ask them and they say, yes, you can, or they encourage you to apply, then every other thing is the same. So please check out my course on niw.bestmanacademy.com or you can go through um, bestmanacademy.com as well to enroll in the course and every other thing you need to do is the same with everybody else, okay? So now that you understand that, now that you have that full understanding, let's talk about the schools, you know, where my, my mentees were successful at, um, you know, gaining admission and funding and um, potentially those that rejected them. Now, for those, I'm going to tell you those that rejected them, not, not because they don't accept HNDs. I mean, it could just be rejection. You might be lucky if you apply to those schools. So I'm just going to share that now. Now, uh, if you if you follow us on Twitter, Bestman Academy on Twitter, if you don't, by the way, please do. You would remember that I posted that a candidate um, got seven offers, seven um, offers in the United States with an HND. Okay. So it's possible seven offers with an HND, but this particular candidate had um, had a distinction. Anyway, the other candidate had a uh, second class, or oh, I just not second class. They call it upper credit <laughs> for HND. So, but anyway, uh, this candidate did West evaluation and applied. She applied to eighteen schools. That's crazy, but she she received a waiver, an app fee waiver from most of them. And, um, you know, the 18, I'm just going to read out the 18 schools. So University of Alabama, University of Massachusetts at Amherst, Florida State University, Marquette University, University of North Texas, University of Kansas, Colorado State University, University of Colorado at Boulder, Rice University, University of Kentucky, University of Wisconsin, Madison, University of Miami, Utah State University, University of Pittsburgh, Portland State University, um, University of Rochester, and Rensselaer Institute Polytechnic. Um, so it's actually 17, not 18, 17 universities. Um, so, if you have an HND and you are watching this video, you can try to target these universities. But she she ended up getting admitted at eight of um, seven of them, which includes um, University of Massachusetts at Amherst, Florida State University, Marquette University, University of North Texas of Kansas, Rensselaer to Rensselaer Institute Polytechnic. She was accepted to at the University of Kentucky. So for, for the ones where she was accepted, it's clear that they accept HNDs 
if you do a WEST evaluation, if they understand what your degree is, okay? Now, um, so this is from one student. Um, the second student, um, I can't even count the number of universities he applied to, but I'm just going to read them out. Um, and I'm going to talk about the ones where, where he was accepted. And this candidate applied for a master's in most cases. And um, yeah, I do want to say at this point that, you know, the first student I talked about applied for a PhD in chemistry. Um, chemistry is uh, a little bit easier to get funding. Uh, you know, it's easier to get funding in chemistry if you have a good result. Uh, so she didn't have much problems with, with, um, getting a PhD, a funded PhD. But this other guy, uh, he applied for a master's, so he didn't get funded. Mostly because, you know, PhDs are mostly considered for funding better than those who apply for a master's because PhDs will be around for a longer time to do research uh, than master's students. So, and usually, you know, right now people, <laughs> universities get a lot of PhD applicants. So money might not be sufficient even for the PhD applicants, not to talk of, you know, having some leftover for master's students. So um, I think that was one of the problems this um, particular student had. Um, she applied for only a master's. And in some cases where she applied late to those schools for a PhD, they, I remember in one of the one of the schools, I can't remember which particular school. We'll talk about the whole schools now. But, um, you know, they told him that, you know, uh, we can't apply you, we can't admit you directly for a PhD because of your results, okay? Um, that um, they would apply, they would be willing to admit him for a master's, you know, to just see how he's going to cope. And I think it's partly because of the HND, which is sad, but um, so they admitted him for a master's instead, but still they didn't fund him in most cases. But right now there is, there is uh, there seems to be an headway somewhere, but um, let's keep that under wraps for now. So the schools that could potentially be open to HND is additional schools now from the first one. And I think there are, um, there are some that might be common from both candidates. So I'm just going to read them out. Uh, Vanderbilt University, Michigan Technological University, Worcester Polytechnic Institute, Rensela Polytechnic Institute as well, just like the uh, first student, Carnegie Mellon University, Tulane University, Tufts University, University of Central Florida, University of Texas at Rio Grande Valley, University of Miami, University of Maryland, Northeastern University, University of Tron, University of New Haven, Northern Arizona University, Case Western Reserve University, Iowa State University, uh, there's an interesting story about Iowa, and um, Georgia Southern University, and lastly, the University of Alabama. So those, you can see, he applied to all these universities. And like I said, this was possible because um, they requested, for the most part, I think mostly they requested for application fee waivers, okay? You should always try to do that before you pay try to request for application fee waivers uh, and sometimes you'll be lucky sometimes you would not they won't waive it just tell them you know you are a first generation student or tell them where you're coming from you know nigeria the minimum wage is like maybe 40 dollars right now <laughs> and you're from you know not you're not from a very wealthy family you've spent maybe money on doing you know, West evaluation, taking the TOEFL or GRE, and it will be great or relieving if they can waive the application fee for you. And most of the time, they are very receptive to uh, that request. Okay? So just try. Always try to 
request for application fee waiver. So um, let's talk about schools where he was accepted for a master's. Uh, Michigan Technological University accepted. Uh, Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Tufts University, that was, um, you know, uh, a surprise because Tufts is one of the top U.S. universities in the Boston area. University of Texas at Rio, Rio Grande Valley. Uh, he was also accepted at Northeastern University, University of Akron, University of Akron. And also Northern Arizona University and um, Iowa State University as well. But like I said, Iowa State University actually accepted him. And, um, you know, after a few days or weeks, they later rejected him, stating his degree. So it's weird because they initially accepted him and rejected him later because of the HND. So you might not want to bother applying to Iowa State University. So it seems they don't understand it, that HND. But like I said, you can always um, send emails to the graduate program coordinator. But I think the problem here was the graduate program coordinator. Obviously, the, the graduate program admitted him, but this was probably overruled at the graduate college level because the standard is or was probably not met due to that degree. So he was also accepted at Georgia Southern University and University of Alabama. So um, if you are an HND graduate, you can look into these schools and see if you can find your interests in any of these areas. Uh, if you can, if you can find your interest in any of these schools, you can, you know, continue the process by going through uh, my course that I, I described earlier in the video and I'm also going to put the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, next videos will expand more on the graduate admission process and also you know how to get prepared for the self-sponsored uh, green cards for scholars in the United States.